You are listening to a guy who's been married for 26 years, and I'm still in love with the same woman. My wife ever finds out, she'd kill me. Now, you take my wife, please. My wife has a nice, even disposition, miserable all the time. Can she talk? Yappity, yappity, yappity. Had her on the beach in Miami, she got home, her tongue was sunburned. This woman gets me crazy. She came home with a new hat the other night, no material, just the price tag on her ear. And another thing about my wife, she is the kind of a woman that is very meticulous around the house. Everything has to be in its place. Now, if I throw ashes on the floor, she's right there to pick them up. I throw my clothes down, she hangs them up immediately. I got up 3 o'clock the other morning to go out to get a glass of water, and when I came back, I found a bed made. That isn't all. I got a brother-in-law. I wish he'd get a job so we'd know what kind of work he's out of. We don't know how long he's been out of work. We lost his birth certificate. He loves inventions. He is the kind of a guy, like, for instance, last year, he manufactured gold yo-yos for wealthy idiots. I got one. I finally got him a job. He's a lifeguard in a car wash. But I've had a very strenuous career. Everybody bothers me. I don't know why. I was standing at a bar one night. I find a guy's hand in my pocket. I said, what do you want? He says, I want a match. I said, why don't you ask for it? He says, I don't talk to strangers. The fellow walked up to me, put a gun on my back. He said, stick him up. I said, stick what up? He said, don't mix me up. This is my first job. The fellow fell out of a 10-story window. He's lying on the ground with a big crowd around him. The cop walked over. He says, what happened? He says, I don't know. He says, I just got here. I got things, people come... One fellow walked up to me, says, give me $10 till payday. I said, when is payday? He says, you ought to know, you're the one that's working. Another guy walked up, he says, give me $1,000 for a cup of coffee. I said, coffee's a nickel. He says, I want to drink it in Brazil. Another fellow walked up, he says, give me 10 cents for a cup of coffee. I said, coffee's a nickel. He says, won't you join me? One panhandler walked up, he had two hats. I said, what's the other hat for? He says, things are so good with me, I opened a branch office. I get bothered like this all the time. One fellow walked up to me. He said, mister, I haven't had a bite all day, so I bit him. Well, he give these fellows money. They play horses. I play horses myself. I played a horse one day so slow, the jockey kept a diary of the trip. Some people play a horse to win, some to play, so I should have bet this horse to live. This is the first time I ever saw a horse start from a kneeling position. I don't mind when a horse gets left at the post. I don't mind when a horse comes up to me in the grandstand and asks, which way do they go? But when I see the horse I bet on at the $2 window playing another horse in the same race, I'm through. The jockey started to hit the horse. The horse turned around. He said, what are you hitting me for? There's nobody behind us. Incidentally, all you married men who want to get your wife a little crazy, when you go to bed tonight, don't talk in your sleep. Just grin.